Hey everybody, Scott Sprintzer here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Wednesday, March 11th, 2020. Free pick coming up in a moment. Hey, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, if you're kind of new to these videos, there's a real cool way to give DocSports.com a trial run if you're inclined to do so. You click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages or anybody else on the roster over at DocSports.com. Free $60 account gets started by clicking on the link below the video. Before I get to what's going on for us on Wednesday and to two, potential of two free college basketball picks on this report, I want to let you know real quick note about uh, what we're going to start next week. You've seen uh, Tony George and I, if you go to DocSports.com and watch the videos, we have on weekends usually three or four college basketball and NBA specific game videos. We'll talk for three or four or five minutes about each one of those games. Well, we decided we want to start something new. So next Tuesday, and it'll be available Tuesday night, I'll tell you more about it as we get closer to Tuesday, we're going to start doing a longer version. It's probably going to be about 20 minutes long. It'll be myself, Tony George, and we'll still have some game-specific stuff on there. In fact, we're going to obviously preview uh, the opening Thursday and Friday in the Big Dance next Tuesday night. Uh, but if there's things we want to rant and rave about, I don't care what it is, from sports betting uh, to things that have nothing to do with sports betting, we're going to be doing that starting next Tuesday. So again, I'll talk more about it as we get closer to Tuesday, uh, but something to look forward to starting next week and we'll be on each and every week after that. Real quick note about what's going on for me on Wednesday. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, we do have a six-star play going on Wednesday's card. It's a Wednesday night game. I've got a two-play card in college basketball on Wednesday. And uh, again, they'll both be available at 11.30 a.m. Eastern, 8.30 a.m. Pacific. And our elite level plays, those rated five stars and higher, are now on a 13-4 and four winning run. Last 17. We didn't have one yesterday, but we've got one today. Again, it is a six-star play, two college basketball plays, plays and all, both available 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Let's take that elite level run to 14 and 4. Also, uh, a couple of games are all that's lined in the NBA for the most part, as far as lines that we really care about and books that we really care about. So be sure to check out my Handicappers homepage at 1 p.m. Eastern, 10 a.m. Pacific for any possible NBA and NHL, but definitely college basketball, including that six-star elite level play. Let's get to a free play or two. Let's start with the possible free pick for Wednesday. And we're talking about the matchup between Nebraska and Indiana. Hoosiers laying 14, it's in Indianapolis, so kind of a home court away from home advantage uh, for the boys from Bloomington. But here's the thing, they're laying about 14 right now, uh, which is where uh, the fair line would normally be for these two teams on a neutral floor. Uh, Nebraska's horrendous, as you know, but they're down to seven scholarship players. And if you haven't been following, uh, they actually added a couple of football players just to have a little bit of depth. Uh, neither player played any college ball. They haven't played since high school. Uh, and that's what they're dealing with right, right now besides being on this horrible slide. So listen, if Nebraska, I'm not suggesting a full game uh, play, even though Indiana might blow their doors off. Here's what I'm suggesting, and this is what I'm going to do. If Nebraska, Indiana's relatively close at the half, if the Huskers are playing hard, only down six, seven, eight points, I'm going to look to bet Indiana in the second half because the Huskers have no depth whatsoever. A couple of football players on the court to play basketball on on Wednesday. Not the first time that's happened in college basketball, but it is quite rare. The actual full game play, uh, we're looking at Fordham and George Washington. Uh, these two teams played during the course of the regular season. We saw 115 points scored in one, 113 points scored in the other. Right now, the total sitting at 122. It is an afternoon game. Uh, we like it under. And the cutoff line, by the way, in case this does go down, even though in a couple of books, as I cut this, I've seen it go up a half a point. Uh, the cutoff line for our under is 120 and a half. 120. Point five. These two teams stink as far as shooting the basketball. Listen, the one thing GW likes to do is shoot the three. The one thing out of all the things Fordham does well is clamp down on the deep perimeter. In fact, they've got some pretty good defensive metrics overall. But GW which is power rated the better team here, laying three as they should. The bottom line is they like to shoot the three, but in their two games against Fordham, they would have combined 10 for 51 from the three-point line. Because as I said, Fordham not bad on the perimeter on defense. Fordham just can't shoot. Neither could GW for the most part. Fordham's got a horrible free throws to field goal attempts ratio, yet they still stink from the free throw line when they get there, hitting less than 66%. And in fact, they're what? 347th and adjusted offensive efficiency. Efficiency, uh, 346th, an effective field goal percent. Uh, their offensive rebounding stinks, so they don't get putbacks even though they miss a bunch of shots. 
Three point shots, 258. Two point shots, 42.6%. It's almost the worst in college basketball. Again, GW doesn't shoot well. They want to shoot threes. Fordham covers the three. Let's play under 122 between Fordham and George Washington. And again, our cutoff is 120.5. Again, under 122, Fordham GW. Don't forget about the possible uh, Indiana second half play if the game with Nebraska is relatively close at the half. All right, that's going to do it for me for Wednesday. Uh, let's put them in the win column. And if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. I'm Scott Sprites or DocSports.com. We'll try to get these out earlier the rest of the week, Wednesday night for Thursday, but at the very latest, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific.